you guys, I have, much like you all, been influenced. Been influenced to buy fragrances that I now need to get rid of. So I have got several fragrances here that I'm going to show you that I will be decluttering. All of them are Arabian fragrances. I've actually already gotten rid of some as well. I've already sold them, given them away. So when I talk about them, I'll just pop pictures up of them. But um, I just need to make room for things in my collection that I am really in love with. Some of these I like, but they're not a love. And I just don't feel like waiting either for the maceration process or they're just not vibing well with me and or they've changed and become something that I'm not interested in anymore. So if you are interested to see what I will be getting rid of, keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I do hope you consider subscribing. I have a goal of reaching 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So won't you help me do that? And I do hope you are enjoying the content enough to want to stay and be a part of the family. If you are returning, hey girl. Alrighty, let's get right into the video. Up first is Fakar. Um, this is a fragrance by Latafa. This is a white floral fruity fragrance and it just mm, has not macerated to a place to where I'm enjoying it. And I'm wondering if it's all of the combinations of all of the flowers that are in the fragrance. There's tuberose, jasmine, ylang, honeysuckle. There's rose, but it kind of smells like that powdery rose and not that modern sophisticated rose. Um, it says there's vanilla musk in the base, which, you know, I love vanilla and musk in the base, but it's just something in here. And there's a lot of aldehydes and ambroxan in here. And I just feel like maybe it's, it's the way that it just is kind of coming together is not for me. I feel like I may have worn this maybe once or twice. And um, for that reason, she has got to go. I'll probably put some of these on Mercari. If not, I'll see, you know, whoever wants them amongst my friends and family or just make a donation. So this is a Furcar by Latafa. And just forgive my pronunciation on any of these Um Sometimes the names just be naming, okay? Up next is Opulent Musk by Latafa. This is too Arabian Princess for me. It's too Arabian Princess for me in a way that doesn't lend itself to, um, you know, someone that just needs a little bit more citrus or tanginess in their fragrance. It's very musky, very heavy, floral, powdery, and it just, um, it's just not my vibe. That's all I can say. I, I feel like I could smell this walk past me on someone and will be like, oh, what is that? But on me, it kind of is a little headache inducing. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and give this away. So this is Opulent Musk by Latafa. I've got some twins here. Um, this is Haya and this is Sakina. Haya actually isn't bad. Sakina, I don't know, maybe I got a bad batch, but there is something screechy in here for me to my nose and it didn't come off that way initially. And so I don't know if it's just going through some things to get to what it needs to get to when, when it's done macerating. But I've had this um, probably a good six months and I just don't want to continue to wait. I don't want to continue to wait to see what it will develop to. Um, I need space in my closet, okay? I just do. And with Haya, it was a fleeting scent um, when I first got it and it has gotten stronger and it's pleasant. It is. It's absolutely pleasant, but it's just not unique enough for me to go ahead and keep this. Um, so I will be probably gifting these just because I don't know if something's wrong with this and I would feel bad selling it. Um, so I'd probably just gift the pair for the sake of, you know, getting rid of both the bottles at the same time um, and allow whoever wants it to smell it to see if it vibes with their nose. Cause like I said, I don't know if something's wrong with it. It just smells kind of weird and off putting to me. Um, but you know, this is supposed to be a little fruitier 
And then this one is just a very pretty girl scent. Just a very pleasant, pretty in the afternoon spring, you know, spring scent. That's what this gives. This is the type of vibe that I get with Haya. So this is Sakina and Haya by Latafa. Up next is Rams by Latafa. A lot of these, probably most of these are going to be Latafa. Um, this is actually not a bad fragrance. It is a male, a male uh, fragrance. Um, I'm sh anybody could wear it. I bought this with the uh, thought of giving it to my boyfriend. And when I smelled it, as I just kept smelling it, I'm like, I don't want to smell this on him. So I never sprayed it on me. I may have sprayed it on my hand, but it's not anything memorable. It's rated pretty well on Fragrantica, to be quite honest, but it's just something that I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will let him try this out and see if he likes it before I gift this away. Um, but I'm going to try not to do those. Maybe I'll keep it and see type of situation. This is probably going to be the only one I do that with. But um, yeah, this is a freshie. Has a little bit of spice to it. I mean, there's nothing wrong. It's just not special. It kind of gives like an old spice type of vibe. Old spice or Axe body spray or, you know, something like that. So this one may go. This is Rams by Latafa. Eternal Oud by Latafa. Now this one, I don't know what happened. If they put the wrong juice in the bottle, if this is a bad batch or whatever. But looking at the notes, this was supposed to have plum and all kind of fruits and everything in here. And all I smell is a spicy Arabian scent. This like, almost smells like Sir, um, the one with the, the crazy bottle, uh, the crazy lid. Like it's spicy like that, but it's not sweet and vanilla like that. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of the level of spice that I smell. But this smells very old man, grandpa uh, leather chair, cognac with the cigar like all of the things so i i don't know why i ended up getting this um batch or whatever happened i don't know but this one got to go i was too done too through and too done when i sprayed this and based on looking at the notes and thinking I was buying something and I got something completely different, completely and totally different. So this one, I probably will gift this too because if I tell somebody, oh, this has plum and fruits and this and that and the third and they get this and smell, you know, what's one of them old fragrances from way, way back in the day, Stetson or something with the cowboy, like they'd be upset. So she got to go. This is Eternal Oud by Latafa. Up next is Rave Now by Latafa. We all know this is a dupe for Burberry Her Elixir and there is absolutely nothing wrong with this fragrance. She's pretty, she's strawberry, she's cream, she's all of the things, she is a great dupe. It's just something about the DNA that does not vibe well with me. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and gift her to someone. I did put a pretty decent dent um, in here, right about here. And so I wore it, I wore it. And, you know, sometimes I would get a little nauseated if I wore too much. And so I just don't want to be fighting with my fragrances like that. So I'm going to go ahead and gift her away. Um, this is Rave Now by Latafa, which is a great dupe for Burberry Her Elixir. Ajwad by Latafa. Not well blended, not well rounded very sour screechy something in the bottle it's not good i don't even think i put this on my skin i sprayed it out when i got it and i'm like what is this let me let it sit and um she's been sitting i've been sniffing and it's not been working out so she gotta go like the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I do wish that this worked out because I would love to keep this bottle. Like how cute would that be up there? I don't know. Should I keep the bottle just for decoration purposes and never spray the juice? Y'all let me know because I think she would fit beautifully up there. If y'all see her up there, then you will know I didn't declutter and I'm using this as art deco, okay? But the juice for me, scratchy 
screechy, sour, not good. I think I got a bad batch. I'm gonna blame it on a bad batch. That's what I'm gonna do. So, so this is Ashwad by Latafa. Up next is Alhermain Janoon Rose. This I bought on accident. I think I've said this a couple times on my channel. I thought I was buying Janoon Noir, which was which is the um, dupe for Dama Bianca, an amazing dupe, by the way. Um, but this one is no the rose in here is just not pleasant and there's something kind of sour about this it just doesn't smell well blended it doesn't smell like the fragrance came together to be um something that anybody should be wearing to be quite honest and so i don't know if they are pumping these fragrances out a little bit too fast but she's been sitting She's not changing and she's not staying. So I will be uh, releasing her to um, the world and whoever wants her can, you know, grab her. <laughs> okay. So this is Al Hermain Janoon Rose. Last but not least, mm, I'm kind of sad about this one. And I don't know, this one might be, I might keep her. But this is Affection by Latafa. This is a dupe for um, Yum Pistache. I actually have a video coming up with this one compared to the um, Kahir brand, which is Paris Corner, the pistachio fragrance that is duping Yum Pistache, which I don't know. The streets are saying that it's better. So we will see. Um, but I don't need all of these in my collection. So just depending on how things shake up, this one will go or the other one will go. And of course, I'm keeping Yum Pistache. Like, let's be serious here. Potentially on the chopping block. This is Affection by Latafa. Alrighty, guys. So the last three fragrances that I have already released to the world are all of the Yara's. I got rid of the original the Yara Moy and also Yara Twos. I really, really like Yara Moy. That's probably my favorite one. Yara Twos is nice. And the original Yara was okay. Um, it just smelled like prettiness. There was nothing significant about it. It was cute for the summer, cute for the time, but you know, it just wasn't unique enough to stay in my collection. And as my Tastes are changing and evolving. I really want things that I'm gravitating to for specific reasons. Like I'll have those throw on fragrances, those ones that are, you know, easy reaches and things like that, but they just have to be a little more special than Yara, okay? And so Yara Moy, I really, really, really like, and I thought about keeping that one, but I was just like, mm, you can release it, just sell it as a trio. And that's what I did. I um, sold them all together on Macari. So hopefully someone's enjoying them. I do have decants of all three of them because I decanted them before I went on vacation. So if I ever want to sniff, I'd have a little bit of the fragrance still left in my collection. All right, you guys. So that is going to be my declutter that I am getting rid of as far as my Arabian fragrances. Um... I just want to make sure that I'm continuing to prune and curate my collection for it to be something that I intentionally want each and every fragrance in my collection for a specific reason. And when it no longer serves a purpose for me, I got to let it serve a perfect purpose for someone else. Okay. So that is why I'm getting rid of those. Some of them are just probably, I don't know where they're going, but they got to get up out of here. Okay. So again, you guys, thank you so much for um, hanging out with me for a little bit and watching this content. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I am trying to reach 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I hope you are enjoying my content in order to join the family. And with that being said, make sure you all are being kind to yourself. Make sure you're being kind to others. And peace and love, y'all. The world needs it. Bye.